Well, I guess it's morphing time. What's up there, YouTubers? Black Xana here, and welcome to another video review. Today we are going to be reviewing is the Power Rangers Dino Fury, Dino Fury Morpher. So here we are, and there it is. And before we get into this, um, I was kind of lucky enough to come across this at my local Myers. They were putting this out on clearance, so um, I didn't exactly have this last year. <laughs> So, uh, I'm kind of glad I have it now. I used to start up my Dino Fury collection. So, alright, so getting into the packaging itself, I'm going to move these two items to the side. For the box, it came in. The uh, key would be right over here, the morpher would be over here. Of course, it's tied down by these uh, papered tie strings. I'm guessing they're conserving the earth. I mean, reduce, reuse, recycle. Uh, it's meant for ages 5 and up. On the front of the box, you got the Power Rangers logo here. And then you've got the Dino Fury insignia. Red Ranger wearing the Morpher on his left arm or wrist. You want to put that. Keys unlock sounds, and of course it probably says so in the different languages. I can never read those. Uh, probably in Spanish or French or whatever. On the side of the box, it, the same Red Ranger wielding is a sword. Uh, we might probably get that. Probably not. Depends if I find one on clearance. On the back of the box... Uh, uh, got the kid wearing the uh, morpher. And of course, you got a piece here that rotates around. Uh, motion activated sounds. So, I guess if you move it so much, uh, you might get some additional sounds into that. Uh, side of the box, uh, Dino Fury logo. And of course, you got the same kid that was on the back. On the bottom... Probably a lot of warning stuff that I cannot read and my camera is starting to blur out. Ah! Um, of course, there's a sign here that says, Not for ages from 0 to 3, so we can't let the toddlers uh, go after that. There must be a choking hazard. Well, of course, it's a toy that's meant for smaller kids of the ages of 5 and straight up. And that's basically it for the packaging itself, so I'm not going to bother tossing this, but it will be on the floor. I'll have to clean that up. <laughs> and bringing in our two items, you've got the Morpher and, of course, uh, a little key. So I guess we'll start with the key first. There's so many different them. Uh, this one is a bit of a... a Dinosaur's head on one side, and got this uh, oddish blade coming out of his uh, side here. I guess it's part of a shield. And like most keys, there are a bit of bums. I can already see there's a three down here, and with one sticking out, I'm guessing that's part of the mold and meant for the uh, morpher itself. On the back of the key, well, it's just basically a, one big shiny sticker of a uh, some random red ranger wielding a weapon of such and a shield on the other. Uh, I'm not sure if that's an ancient red ranger, but <laughs> um, it's about anybody's guess. I, I really don't know. <laughs> Okay, as for the Morpher itself, um, 
it doesn't look too bad. It, it's sort of like a, a dinosaurish head at some point with a rotating helmet. Okay. Now there's a band on the back which is meant for the smaller kids. Again, ages five and up. I, it wouldn't even bother to fit on my wrist. It's uh, well, it's extremely large, and I've already tried. Uh, I would need to get a uh, a newer armband strap for this thing. So, but in any case, the whole thing is velcroed. So if you wanted, you could try to put your arm on it. But in my case, considering how old I am, it that just is not going to work. No. Okay. Now, I have noticed, and I've seen a few uh, other reviews about this um, particular morpher, it... It's almost the same as it was for Ryu Soldier out in Japan. I know our American version is a bit of a knockoff, but it it's not too bad. I'm I'm pretty sure it has some uh, different sounds for it. And it has a switch here for two different settings. Right now it's turned off, so let's get this uh, into setting 1. And how you activate it is, is um, with the button down here, or you can just insert the key. So, start with that. Okay, I was not expecting it to be uh, that loud, but that that's some of the uh, sounds you get for the gimmick. And that was the power down function. Uh, doesn't look like we can get any motion out of it. Okay, let's turn this to the uh, second settings. Alright, let's try this again. And hopefully it'll be a bit more different this time. Turn it, press the button once. That turns it on. Oh, it gets some swishing sounds as you move it. Okay, this won't be so bad as a role-playing toy for us. <laughs> Let's see what else. Insert the key. And come on. Ah. Yeah. What do we get this time? Ooh. Dinosaur noises. Nice. Okay, see what we do when activating it. Okay, that didn't do much. When you uh, let's try turning this object. Oh, that did something. I guess that was part of the uh, morphing sequence. Hmm. Now, I kind of almost like how this morpher is. All right, you—that's enough. I'm. 
I suppose that's kind of okay, considering that's the entire gimmick for this. I'm guessing we'll get more some more uh, different sounds with the additional keys we'll get. Uh, though I'm not quite sure how many we'll have. I really, I may have missed out a few, but I'm probably sure I can get a few more out on Amazon. <laughs> but yeah, this this one hurt as a, a cosplay kind of toy. And I suppose the Morpher isn't too bad. And now, so far of what I've seen in the uh, series, this type is only used by five of the six rangers. are red, blue, black, green, and pink rangers. Uh, Gold uses a sort of a Moza blaster for his morph. Eh. Um, I suppose that's not too bad. No. Now, I kind of do like it in a certain way. you got a whole bunch of details going into this, so, such as the uh, helmet bit. There got a few that like scars or battle damages. I'm pretty sure that's mostly how it's shaped. Well, underneath it, you've got this sort of a uh, Dino Tyrannosaurus look for it. I'm guessing that was probably the same in Rio Soldier. Mm. The activation button is a. Uh, and. I would say a bit of a so-so. I mean, sure, it may be bright when it's turned on. Eh. But still, I do kind of like it. Huh. Now, the only issue I've got is the key. I know back in Japan, these were just like... Uh, flip open for them but for us they're just straight flat pancakes with the uh, molded bits but there is a lot of detail going into this I mean for instance you got this little hole where you can Try to put a keychain through, or maybe some string, if that's your uh, preference. But I think I'm just gonna leave it as is, and I just had it fly through through my fingers. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there are times when these things just don't want to stand up. Alright, I think I'm going to end here. This is Black Xana saying, Tower Deactivated. I'll be back with many more good videos. And I will see you all until next time. Bye.